Yo, what's up? It's all right back with another video. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a zone map. Now, if you want to make a zone map, this is how the proper way you do it. So, drop a like and subscribe and comment below your favorite part of this video because it's going to take a long time to make this map. It takes around like 30 minutes. So, if you want to have a good map, you can. I will um, be showing how to do like all the cheats if you want to have cheats on your map for like only your friends and everything also I'll be showing how to get different time zones and everything for your map to make it a professional zone work but yeah let's get right into it now I prefer using the meadow island it's pretty flat you can name it whatever so let's just name it savage savages zone wars or zone word, whatever. And then just put it in. Also, use my code in the item shop. It should be on the screen right now, somewhere. I don't know. I'll have an arrow pointing to it. But yeah, let's get right into it. So, you wanna find the middle of the map. That's the first thing you wanna do. But let me, if you play on cust custom, I can't even talk. If you play in custom, then you might want to switch to Boulder Pro for this. So you want to get to the middle of the map and you want to find the middle. So it'll be about right here. So after you get to the middle of the map, you want to place a uh, one by one. It could be out of anything. So let's just do, I'll do it out of red. If you click triangle, Y, whatever you play on. It should bring you to this, and you want to get a wall and a floor, so. Let's see if I can find one. It doesn't have to be a certain type of wall. Or it could be like this, whatever. You want to have something like this. Right here. Go we'll see what this is for. So, there we go. So you wanna have that. And then once you do have that, you wanna go from straight from the middle all the way to the side. So once you get all the way over here, get a floor. And you want to make a five by four. So one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four. So it should look something like this. It's really useful so your team ha can have space. And for this, you're going to have to place this down. After you want to get a stair and you want to place two stairs right here or you could place them like this and then delete the two in the middle I would do that because it's gonna look better and then you want to get this proper or well, this one thing and you want it to be the one that has both sides red so there you go once you have it like that you want to get a wall and then you want to place it like this. Once you get all walls all around the sides and everything, you want to make sure that you place it the second wall back. So one, two, so right here. And then you want to have your wall like this. So after you have your wall like that, you want to have another story high now one story is gonna be for heels and one story is gonna be for um can you talk guns so once you have one story of heels and one story of guns you can do it I'll be showing what I use it's better if you use what I use but I mean, I'm not telling you that you have to, so. You wanna place the floors like this on the inside, and then you wanna place the floors like this. So, should look something like this. 
But once you have that, you want to get stairs. Or it could be any stairs. I think these are the only ones, yeah. So you want to get stairs. And then you want to place them like this. Place that right there. And then you want to place one right here. One right here. And then you want to have these right here. So after you have that, you still be able to run around like this. And nothing's going to be back there. I'm going to show you what you could do with that backspace if you don't want to just leave it hanging. So if you have this backspace and you want to do something with it, you could get a barrier and you could just like place a, a barrier right here and you could do barrier, barrier style. Um, let's just do new below red with two. Oh, uh, let's do this. And then let's put this on one and do that. Wait. Okay. So once you have that, wait, hold on. It says red, but it, okay. Oh, this game is being weird. So once you have that, there's only backspace here. And why you added those is so you could use these again if you want. So place those right there. Looks pretty cool, in my opinion. I definitely play this map. But now let's add the um let's add the guns. So you wanna get a item spawner right here. Let's do this one and then you wanna get a vending machine. So let's just do that. Wait, hold on. I messed it up. <laughs> okay. So you wanna get that and then you wanna make it fall. So and you wanna play six of them. Or how many you want. I'll place four for this demonstration. You want to place time before spawn instant and both of these instant. Once you have both of them instant. Or all of them instant. Then you can start placing the guns. So I'm blowing into my mic. <laughs> so instant and then. Okay. Dunking is good guns. Do a legendary pump. Legendary Scar, Heavy Sniper, and then you also want, uh, let's do something for your choice. You could put a P90. So once you have all those in them, you're done with the heels. I mean the guns, I can't even talk. And then you want to have one right here. And one in each corner, so. Once you have one in each corner. Now, this floor is going to be galaxy. So, it's pretty sick. And then, you want to have each on one. The reason why you want to have each on one is because up here is also going to be the vending machines. So, once you have all of these. Instant. Then, you can start adding the guns, so. Or the heels, whatever, I can't talk. <laughs> um, so. Put all these instant, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, let's get some heels. So, so you want to have a slurp fish, always. Um, in your inventory at the start, you don't want to have, like, some minis or anything. So... Don't get a slurp fish or any fish. You want to get a chug splash, med kit, shield potion, or mini, and a big pot. And you want to place them right here, right here, and both of these right here. And then this is where the vending machine is going to come in place, so... You want to get this, and you want to shrink it down, so hold B, circle, whatever you use, and hold L1 to about this size. And then hold B and circle, whatever you use, to get off of it, and then you want to put two on each floor equally, so one right there, two right there, okay, two right there. 
and then two right here. Okay, so you wanna add fish in here, so or ammo. So let's get a flopper, um, a small fry, and then once you have that, so that'll fill up one side. So one fish, one side can be fish, one side can be bombs or whatever, and then one side can be ammo. So let's do that. Let's get that that much. And then let's do five bombs, five cleaners. So. That. And then. Oh, we got in there. Oh, crap. Well, you get the whole gist. So yeah, that, and then you could do that for all of them. Let's just get a boogie bomb and a stink bomb. Okay. You could do whatever. I mean, you could take that out if you want. I won't take it out, it's fine. So that, and then that, there you go. Um, does this vending machine take anything? Thank you. Okay. Okay, there we go. So, once you have all the vending machines is done, you should be done with the vending machines. And then you want to place the launch pad. So, you want to go over to devices. And you want to scroll all the way down until you find a launch pad. And you want to place them in, like, both like that. And then once you have that done, you want to place the, <clears throat> um, you want to place the player's one, and you want to place three on each one. So one, two, three, and there's gonna be four of them. So there we go. Wait, that was a that was a mutator zone. Okay, so there you go. Once you have that done, do that on um all four sides. So right here right there right there and right there and then you want to go to your you want to go to my island and now i'm going to tell you the settings that you want to use so voice chat all teams free for all you want to put that to teams of six team size dynamic that's teams i didn't even read that so you could do four or whatever or you could do split evenly. I'll do split evenly. And then once you have that, revert to class at, just keep that whatever. Spawn limit, one. At the spawn, go to spectator, total rounds, put that as 100. Team rotation, disabled. And for the rest of these, you should be good, but put the time limit to none and then win conditions most rounds win eliminations to end last standing in game ends game join in progress spectate really you don't need any more on these so after that go over to settings and then you want to put the time of day um free and then put camera filter nothing light brightness you want to put it 30 that's what it'll look like i think that's two there we go so put that 10 light color put that magenta and then put the fog thickness zero or default on um, fall color magenta and then starting health 100% health um starting shields 100% infinite ammo off infinite resources on and then allow aiming assist allow building building can destroy can't building can destroy environment put that as no 
fire rate damage off structure damage all and then after that you should be done now just put that on all four sides and that's how you make a good zoomers map thank you for watching i know i stuttered a lot but like subscribe and comment down below your favorite part of this video and